For this activity, we're going to use um, HSM Pro inside Autodesk 2015 um, to create a facing operation for a part. First thing we're going to do is come over to the CAM tab. And once we're in the CAM tab, we're going to come over to Tool Isometric to fold the part over. We're going to come over to our Setup in the Job tab, and we're going to start setting up the part. We have the opportunity here to either put in a milling operation or turning. We can change the orientation of the WCS itself. We can choose where the origin is going to be. And for this one, because the part was already drawn correctly with the Z facing up and the X and Y, I want my PRZ to be in this bottom corner. I won't have to change a lot of this. So for model orientation, I can leave all of this alone um, and I will go straight to choosing my points. What you can see on the screen right now is all these points, either corners or midpoints or something that I can select or I can come off the model origin. For this activity, because I am going to mess with the stock, if I chose the model origin, then the PRZ or the WCS would not move as the stock moves. So I want to choose a stock boxed point, and I'll choose this corner, and you should see your WCS move to that corner, your coordinate system. I'll come over now to the stock tab, and I can either choose a fixed box size, relative, cylinders, and so on. Um, for the majority of the time, I use this relative size relative to how I drew the part. You can either tell it to then add no additional stock, to add it to all sides, or just the sides, or the top and bottom. And this is the one that we're going to select. For us, in this activity, we're going to have zero added to the sides, and we'll add an eighth of an inch, 0.125, to the top. Just as it is in the rest of Inventor Tools, you can also type it in as fractions. I'll come over to the last tab, the post process, and I'll tell it the name of this file we'll be facing. I'll go ahead and select OK, and my setup is finished. We'll now go ahead and choose a 2D milling operation for facing. The facing tab for the majority of these, we're going to leave them as their defaults as they pop up. We'll change these in later activities. For today's activity, we'll choose our tool. We'll come to the library, which I already have mine set up, and I will choose the half inch flat end mill. Um, choose the largest tool that you have available to try to clear the top off quickly. I'll then go ahead and come to the geometry tab. And for facing, um, it has already selected the outside stock. If I wanted to change that, I could. <clears throat> we'll then come to the heights. In the heights, the majority of the time, I will leave the clearance, the retract, and the feed height all alone. For this, oper uh, for this operation, I'll go ahead and choose the top height to be the stock top. And then I'll choose the bottom height to also be the stock top with an offset of a negative eighth of an inch. So the bottom height right now will be relative to the top in the negative direction. I can then come over to the Passes tab. I can choose multiple tabs, multiple depths. I can choose Stock to Leave. Um, for this one, we're going to leave all of these alone except for the Step Over. Right now, the Step Over is considerably large. I'm using a half-inch tool, and I'm going to type in 50% of that. So I'll type in a quarter of an inch. We'll come to the very last tab. And we're going to allow all of these defaults to remain as they are. Um, on the Passes tab, I do want to mention that you also have the opportunity to change it to conventional climb, front to back, back to front, or both ways. For this one, we're going to keep it on the default for both ways. And select OK. You should now be able to see all of your tool paths. And if we've set everything up correctly, Right now, your tool pass should be right along the top of your stock, or top of your part. If you want to see the stock, you can come back over here to the setup, click on that, and you'll be able to see the stock as well. I'll now go ahead and simulate the operation. I'm going to go ahead and keep my stock turned on. If yours is off by default, you can turn your stock on and hit play. If you would like to speed up the simulation, you can use this slider bar across the bottom to speed up the simulation. 
You can close your simulator, go back to any of your operations. As with most Inventor, you can go back into the operations and change anything that you need to.